okay? You survive. See your heel with this, yes? So, good? You happy? No. You want this chair? Yeah, bring a chair. See how nice I'm with you? I'm really peppering you. Chair, this is a chair for Paula. What's the problem? No. Uh, can I take one of your two chairs? Please. Yes, there you go. Oh. try to uh, address here behind us we have the structure of this exercise and I would first like to have some reactions to the structure itself. Do you think that it is a good process, one thing leads to the other and we end up in a productive, uh, uh, we do it, it's a, it's a productive exercise, structure wise. Does anyone have a comment on that? Yeah, Marco? Yeah, um, uh, the structure is okay, but uh, I think uh, Paula, by introducing this wish, that is in the name wishes, and then to have concepts for its wish, uh, there could have been a possibility of discussing, for instance, freedom. Uh, yeah. You said uh, the structure is okay, but. Yeah. What? Uh, is, uh, it, is, uh, is, it, is this the point about the structure or is yes. it something else? Yeah. Yes. Uh, because instead, to be all going from um, uh, three to four, selecting and then defining concepts. From uh, selecting? Yes, it is uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, part three and to part four, defining concepts. Um, uh, what? You could. Uh, define the concepts related to the sentence. Yeah, but that's what we were doing, wasn't it? No, we were doing for, every, for, every concept. For instance, uh, uh, this uh, uh, wish of Taro, uh, I wish to be born again as a bird, and the concept was freedom. Uh, you could ask, how can you speak of freedom related to the, con to the wish? To oh. be born again as a bird. Do you understand what it's saying? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Could you rephrase it so just to see? That I could ask the definition of freedom in correlation yes. to the to the the, the, the sentence. The wish. The wish. The wish. Yeah. Yeah. Did you do that? You think? No, it was not my idea. But, uh, I think it will. It could be. What would be the advantage of doing that? Uh, or, do, you, do you agree with Martin? Yes. Raise your hand. Okay, so what would the point be of doing that? What's the point? Yeah, Janet. Because then we would be defining a specific concept of freedom and not trying to define or to reduce all concepts of freedom to one. So would that has, have some effect on the rest of the exercise? In what way? Because every concept, every definition that was offered was seemed to be insufficient because it did not cover every instance of freedom. But but we were only interested, in, but we could have been interested in a particular kind of freedom. That, yeah. That's which the image of the bird conveyed, intended to convey a particular kind of freedom. But would that mean that uh, we would just move the, the, the part of defining uh, this, ex this part of the exercise, we move that section up to this section more like? Um, 
you know, you did, you'd, um, Paula would ask us to define the concept of freedom implicit in the example, rather than now define the concept of freedom by itself. Uh, yeah, by itself, mm -hmm. out of context. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. mm -hmm. All right. And what would the advantage be of that? Well, because then, with the later process, looking for necessary and sufficient conditions. Sorry. Because the later process, the, the later step, which is asking for necessary and sufficient conditions, that that can be successful in relation to freedom, of, you know, a particular kind of freedom, but because freedom is a family resemblance concept, there are a number of different ways we use it. So we will never get, we'll never be satisfied with one definition which will cover all kinds of freedom. But we could be successful in defining the concept of freedom employed by Taro in his image. Of the so world. what do you have, uh, if you did the defining in, in this step, in, in, in relation to the sentence or the wish, what you, what you have then that you don't have here? Um, what, 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 how would you qualify that? You have the task is impossible. It's impossible. Every every definition people offer will fail because this concept is yeah, a family resemblance concept. But could that be a part of the exercise? Oh, could be. Maybe she wants to demonstrate that there are concepts which have no, uh, which are. You cannot find their essential meaning because they do not have an essential meaning. That would be something you find later. It depends how she treats the concrete definitions of the board. <coughs> Is that a conscious, conscious choice on your part to, to, uh, to put the definition part uh, uh, yeah, with the not. concept itself? It does not. It was not to discuss something about whether something has an essence or not. All right. Do people agree with what Janet is saying? Someone disagree? Or don't understand? Mm -hmm. don't understand. Don't understand. You don't understand what I say? Yes. I don't understand. Okay. Who understands? Say great. Could you rephrase? I think I understand what Janet says is that it is important to relate the concept to the situation of the wish because that would be the way to define more specifically what we understand about freedom. About this case of freedom, this type of freedom. Is she, is she generally good now? <coughs> generally good? Okay. Did you understand it now? Yes. All understand the point Janet is making? I don't All right. No, I don't no. the lamp. <coughs> Okay. Can you pick someone? Everybody understands uh, here, right? No, not Stina? No. Neither Nor you. Okay. Who, who would give it another shot to explain the essence of what Janet is pointing out? Okay. What Janet is saying is that getting a global definition may be good but particularizing it because this is a wish so that it will tally with the desire of the wish to be a bird and not a general outlook of freedom. So what are the two basic concepts there to differ between these two situations? In the one case, in the case when we relate it to the wish, it is, you use the word, what was that word you used? The concept in relation to the wish. Is it like general? No, you used. <laughs> Can anyone hear the word you used? General. Particular. General and particular. Yeah, you used not. Global. Global. What was the opposite of general? Specific. Specific. Yeah, but it didn't use that word. Particular. 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 Right? Yes. So there's a particular. And the general. Yes. So what is Janet saying then? If you just use these two words, how can we rephrase what Janet was saying? Then Janet was saying, try to uh, 
define the concepts in a particular case. Mm -hmm. Not in the general. Yeah, yes. Within the context. Context, yes. Within a particular context or in the general. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're good? Mm -hmm. So, do you agree that this would be an improvement of the exercise to do this? To define the concept in context. Would that improve? Or well, doesn't it really matter? Would it make the exercise a better exercise? I think it would improve the exercise because then we will not lose contact with what we have done before, these wishes. Uh, All right. Because when we discussed freedom, we lost contact with the wish of... All right, all right. You get this point? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I just want to add, I have an, object, an objection against that. To, 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 to uh, more than... Okay, just say what Morton said first. That it would be better to keep the contact with the context of the wish. Yeah, because you gave a reason. Because why that would be better? No? No. <laughs> yes, it gave it the rest I, I, I'm not clear. Yeah, You're not clear, okay. okay. <laughs> Try, well, we're not going to spend uh, two hours doing this, but uh, just. Rephrase Morton and then you give your reaction, right? Who can rephrase Morton? Uh, I think Morton is saying uh, that if um, in keeping um, the content, the original sentence <coughs> of the wish, that it will help um, um, give us general conditions to a particular example of the concept. Okay, okay, Wait, wait. Is he on the right track, Gordon? Uh, no, no. <laughs> okay, another try. <laughs> Cecil. That uh, Morton, uh, I think, is saying uh, that it was important to to do to to def define uh, freedom in a particular way because otherwise we lost the track of the wishing we done before. It was a, a pretext. I would say that for uh, doing uh, a definition in, of freedom in a general way. Was it? Yes. Yeah. Is this understandable? Hello? Stina? Mm -hmm. Is it okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. This is more than said. So, why don't you like that? I still object because to keep track with the wish is not necessary to come to the concept. The way I understood Paula was take a wish that is that important for you that that is something that could change your life. So the choice of the wish is one thing, the concept is another step. So by making a wish, you are forced to make a choice and then do the step to the conceptualization. Like I heard what was her meaning of this exercise. So yeah. I think the wish was not important. From a certain moment, the wish was no more important. Yeah, but is that, is that a crit criticism of the exercise? or No, it supports the structure she has uh, chosen. It supports the structure. It was a very is simple way to, to conceptualize. What? I thought she, she um, has chosen a um, very simple, straight way to oblige us to choose concepts. Yeah, but did you see Morton's point that uh, uh, by tearing the concept loose from the context, uh, you lose some uh, natural movement or uh, connection within the exercise. No? No. Yeah. A natural it, it's in the line of the, the thing genital. It was a question: Would have been better to keep track with the wish to do um, the kind of exercise Paula wanted to do. I understand to keep track. What would be the advantage to come to the, the other step of a definition? But when you see all the steps apart, I think it was a, a, a clear way to do it. Yeah, but why? Do we understand why? 
Why should you say this? No? I would like to know all the things about them. Yeah, but, but I, I, you see, I'm not clear actually what, um, what's going on. I think I You think you know your tarot? You, you know what's going on between <laughs> Sigrid and what Morton said? Yes. Please explain. Before that, I have a suggestion, because something is lacking in the process. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's important, it's very important. <laughs> 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 Just stick to this for now. Yvonne, oh, right. could you enlighten us on the issue between Morton and Sigrid? Is Sigrid is just stating that it was the choice of Paula to do it this way. For her it was a nice and clear way. And Morton is making a suggestion that it could be more fluid. So that's two could different more things. More. More, more fluid, more. Um, yeah, yeah. Mm. All right. And he doesn't disagree but about did, this. Uh, yeah, but did Sigrid give a reason for why this is not so? No, she, yes, she just stated it was Paula's choice to do it in this way. So. Mm. Right? Right? Yeah. Mm. Okay, but Norton gave a reason for doing the change mm. because it would make the exercise more fluid, right? Mm. And Paula, uh, Sigrid, gave the reason because uh, that's what Paula decided. Yeah. Is that a good reason? No. Why not? <laughs> good reason, Flores? Uh, because it is. Yes. Did Sigrid give a good reason for challenging Morton's objection? <coughs> No, Sigrid says two things now. That so it was a decision of Paula and she objects to what Morton says. And I agree with the objection that it's not getting more fluid. Is it okay that I go back to what the, an object, objection to Morton in line with Sigrid? I'm going to explain something more that Sigrid said. That is that yes. another reason for being disagreeing with Morton. Right? Yes. Okay, let's, let's hear it. Well, it is not more fluently because uh, uh, <coughs> staying with the particular uh, and then trying to define, you have to uh, arise uh, two problems. You have the definition within the particular, and we have to have a general agreement about what the particular is. And then, it, then we would have a more complex discussion, and perhaps first a discussion about do we all agree the particular case. So I think this was more fluent from going into a particular, and then uh, you arise uh, or you come with the concepts and you go in general uh, and leave the particular. We all is this your view, or is it your interpretation of theory? No. Yeah, I've heard Sigrid say it as well. Right. Right. Anyone else hear this? What are you saying? <coughs> you heard it. You heard? I heard it. You heard what he said? Is that what Sigrid said? No, I'm not sure. Look, I suggest uh, we stop this there. Uh, would you like to comment on what you've heard so far? Yes if my English allows. <laughs> but I understand everything. <laughs> you understand everything. <laughs> Janet and Morton, we can, we can say that both. Mm. Um, they made a, a propose of doing this exercise other way. Yes. Not to start with a wish and going to uh, a definition more universal, but maintains the contact with the wish that uh, gave to us um, a particular definition of freedom and not a general one. Okay? okay. Mm -hmm. Sigrid and Floris, you, uh, before, you have 
ask them both what, what, what were the advantages of making this change in the exercise. Um, the objection of Sigrid and the objection of Floris is supported by the position they don't see any advantages by changing, by changing the, the, the rules of the exercise. All right, right. Nice summary, thank you. Uh, <laughs> what, what, what is your staff here? What do you think? Since it's, it's your exercise. The objective I had when I structured the exercise was starting in the particular way and going to a universal way. Conceptu I, I think that conceptualizing exercise can, can take us uh, forward, 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 when we conceptualize more, um, when, when I um, can, uh, when I, when I, um, uh, when I'm, I'm able to, to build a, a concept with more general, more general than another one. Other concept, the concept of freedom. Uh, to be able to 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 fly like a bird. To me, it's more important a concept that may include any kinds of freedom. So my intention was not maintain the, 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 the connection between the concept and the initial sentence or wish, but it was a, a, a point of, of starting. Mm -hmm. The wish yeah. was a point, a point of starting. It, it will be other thing. The wish is a, is a detail. Yeah. It doesn't matter to me with the wish. So, so if, if I had chosen another story, it will not be a wish, it will be anything. So, so the essence of the exercise was the conceptualizing and problematization that you ended up with? Yes, that's what, this is my idea. Uh, yeah. Not, not to accuse, uh, occasionally uh, it was structured like that, mm -hmm. but Maybe, I don't know, maybe the, 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 the other strategy uh, will be, will be uh, so results too. So you don't, you don't think it would be necessary to change the exercise on the basis of what you've heard? No, no. I see. I see. All right, all right. Anyone have another issue with the structure of the story? Now, <laughs> <laughs> you're Okay. There are one step between step three and step four. There is one step missing between these two steps. Yeah. Selecting and defining. Yeah, between these two, we what? selected the best concept for the, the sentence selecting. Yes. Selecting yes. first, you select one of the sentences. And then yes. we selected the best concept selected for the sentence selected, right? Yes. Right. Is he right? He is right. He oh, okay. is right. So there are eight steps in this exercise. Yeah. Okay. And the discussion we have, uh, uh, the observing that uh, Morton is, is very uh, relevant to the step from three to uh, three touch. Huh? Mm. If I add uh, mm. one yeah. step between three missing. Yeah. 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 That is not so relevant uh, after uh, oh, four. Well. <coughs> the, 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 what Morton said was relevant when we include this uh, missing link, yeah. or yeah, yeah. then it's relevant, yeah. but not from, before. Uh, from uh, to pass from step three to to the missing link. to the missing step, <coughs> this critique was very relevant because uh, the best concept should be selected according to the criteria of the wish, right? Yeah, because, because then we are in context. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay.
Another issue to the structure, yeah. yeah. Uh, in addition to what Tara said, um, I would have found it interesting when we had uh, just a little bit of time to decide with the group which of the three concepts was the best for the wish. I like that arbitrarily we get only three and we have to pick one of those, even though it might not be the best, but to spend some time on which one of these three is the best. But now it's, to me it was seen a bit arbitrarily. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll do it. I think that would be in addition to the So first voting on the wishes and then from the three concepts. So, uh, Menke, uh, what is Menke saying? Just have a rephrase. <coughs> yeah. But first, we, before choosing the concepts, we, 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 we should have chosen the concept in relation with the, the wish. If, if there was a relation uh, between the concept and the wish. Yeah. You get it? Yes. Do you agree? Yes. Uh, did Mickey give a reason as well for making that change? I think it, it will be more clear and uh, it will be more consensual, consensual not so arbitrary. Right. I think uh, uh, she's right. All right. Mm -hmm. Have you any wish in working? Yes, for to, to this question. To the right album with this orbit that we. Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, I somewhat liked this arbitrariness. Uh, <laughs> uh, because, I mean, there are two ways of being arbitrary. You could, for instance, have a basket with uh, one concept, freedom, etc., written on, and you pick, yeah, okay, freedom. Then we could start directly at uh, four, or defining. But uh, I think what was interesting that you first had a wish, mm -hmm. and uh, the, the, the wish is totally unpredictable. And then, okay, you, you will throw in concepts for each wish, and uh, to arbitrarily choose one, I think is okay because it gives us a head start to what I thought was a very interesting question in this. Um, how can we speak of freedom? Uh, concerning a wish to be born again as a bird. I think that was a very interesting question and you could never have come up with this question without this uh, arbitrariness, uh, without using lots of time. All right. All right. Is that an opposition to you, Minka? To your, to your main point? I must admit that I missed the main part. You missed the main part. Okay, so you do some long speeches. More. Yes, it was a speech. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> so, the essence of Morton's point here <coughs> could it be put short, Oscar. Yes, arbitrariness obliges you to think the unthinkable. <laughs> <coughs> Whereas uh, the opposite. Oh, I say up oh, yeah. The answer would be, you go with your natural thing. Yeah. You choose what you naturally think, but when something falls from heaven, you have to think it, you have no choice, so it's more confrontational in a way. Mm. Is that the, if I make yes. one, that's the part I liked with getting the three concepts rather arbitrarily, and then choosing um, uh, with it. So, you, you don't maintain your point? Yeah. <coughs> I think you yeah. can we did both. Oh. Can we both? Yes, the arbitrariness yeah. is, nice, is a nice way to get just three concepts right. and then all together make a decision. We all agree upon which one of those three is the best. All right. Yeah. Even yeah. though the best one might not be oh. the least three. Any more uh, questions, uh, issues, comments to her uh, <coughs> structure of the exercise? Yeah. 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 The comment I have to make on this is uh, the structures, especially towards the end, she wrote them out. The this thing about in her methodology. Um, 
she was much more threatening at Bakulu. Oh, wait, wait. She was more threatening. Yeah, 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 yeah. But now we're talking about threatening. Yes, yeah, threatening. 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 Okay, yeah. but we're not talking about her attitudes now, we're talking about the structure of the exercise. Okay? Yeah, um, I wanted to point out something there. Yeah, uh, I okay. saw it as a good instrument. What? I saw it as positive. What? That threat, which is not here. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you know? hey, hey, Do you agree that uh, her attitude is relevant? Do you agree that threat is a kind of attitude, being threatening? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Uh, is her threat a part of the structure of the exercise? Raise your hand if you agree. Say it again. If the attitude of Paula is a part of uh, the structure of her exercise, raise your hand if you agree. Alright? Why is that so, Oscar? Because the structure needs a certain way to be. And she has a very clear cut structure, and which is not, which interrupts, because each time there's a discontinuity, even though it's linked, there's discontinuity. So I think it's not natural in the discussion. And to have this kind of discontinuity, you necessarily have an attitude that imposes a certain thing. And some people might feel threatened <laughs> by this attitude that goes with imposing a structure. Yeah. All right. So, you agree with Oscar? Yes. Did somebody disagrees with Oscar? No. Okay, disagrees. Yeah, I think the structure, what the structure needs, does not make it part of the structure. The attitude. Yeah, okay. I thought you were asking whether it was a part of the structure. Yeah, that, that was the that question, means. yes. And uh, Oscar said yes. Right? It's a part of the structure. Mm -hmm. And you disagree. Yes, I agree that it needs the attitude. It it's needs not part of, of course, the attitude is a part of the exercise. It's part of it. Is. But the structure it is. It is. Is it part of the structure? It is. is. Well, formally no, but essentially yes. Yes, <laughs> 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 for the time, so I'll just keep enjoying that without taking uh, uh, this yes or no thing. For real? Do you, do you want to choose? Formally yes, informally no. It's essentially no. Formally yes, yes essentially no. <laughs> oh, what are you asking me? Do you want to choose between them or do you maintain both perspectives? If you have it, since I have an alternative, I maintain both. Well, if you, yeah, you tell me, then tell me. Then you can. If it's negotiable, negotiate. If there's no negotiation, then I don't negotiate. So, <laughs> choose one. <laughs> choose one. Choose. Okay. Whether you think, whether you are you talking in the in, in formal or in the uh, essential. 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 Formal. Formal or the essential? Yes. Hmm? Uh, uh, please, you need a question. It's clear to anyone but me, right? It's clear to anyone but me, right? Okay, I'll just give you the formulation and answer. Give me the formulation. And Who can help me post this question to ask me? Can we do that part? Is, is the attitude of uh, the teacher part of the structure of the exercise? Yes or no? Yes. All right. So, uh, you agree on that? Yes. No. Why not? Because 
but it's a different thing. What is a different thing? Well, the structure is what you do, the attitude is how you do it. So, so you what can do how? the same thing in different ways. Yeah. So it's not part of what, it's how, it's different. Yeah, right. Schaffler, uh, Francois, do you have a comment to make? Or yeah, what were you going to do? I, she said, how is that part of? So I thought I missed So I thought, how is it possible to say that? How, how we do something is not part of that action. Does it uh, speak to you generally to distinct, uh, to, to differ between what we do and how we do it? Yes. Is it a, a distinction that? Yes. Is that okay? Okay. So, does it give meaning then to differ between the structure of the exercise and uh, the attitude of the philosopher? Or isn't that the same issue? Okay. Do you agree that there is a difference between what we do and how we do it? Raise your hand. Okay, most people agree on that. Do you agree that there is uh, that there is an equally clear distinction between uh, the structure of the exercise and the attitude of the philosopher? Equally clear distinction. No. All right. So you don't think that. So uh, just have a general thought on this. Uh, you think, because this was, you raised the issue, right, about the threatening attitude. Do you think we should discuss the issue of her threatening attitude in relation to the attitude, or should we move? Relation to structure. In relation to the structure, yes. Mm -hmm. Or should we move to discussing her attitude? Huh? Which well, one? Not your question. Okay. Yeah, well, when do we have to wait for Okay, okay. <laughs> 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 Shall we discuss the question of threatening in relation to the structure? Yes? Raise your hand. What? No. Yeah, can you say that? Uh, okay. Shall we discuss the question of her threatening attitude in relation to the structure? Raise your hand. Oh, yes. What? In relation? To the structure of the exercise. Should we discuss this for relation? Should we discuss? Should we discuss Mike's question in relation to the structure of the exercise? Okay, Mike's question. Mike's question. Mike's question. Mike's question. Can I can I make a little thing? See, this is from Max. When this when you want to present an alternative. Never say yes or no. You see, you want A or B. A and yes or no has nothing to do with it. If you present an alternative A and B, you have to say who wants A or who wants B. But you cannot say who says yes and who says no. And often I see this as a problem, as a structure. A and B is not yes and no. Yes and no has nothing with A and B, unless you refuse the whole thing. You see, it's like many other chocolates, you know, chocolate, nice and no. So if you have an alternative, give us the alternative. Hmm. See? Okay. <laughs> then I choose to uh <laughs> Mike. Yes. Let me hear you. Let me hear your question. Um, what actually I wanted to point out was that it was a comment, not a question, that uh, she had the control of the situation, very much with threat, and uh, yeah, with threat. And uh, I think that it is a good strategy. If it works for a teacher, I use it most times. Oscar saw me using it on my students in order to bring them. And I think as a shepherd, use a stick to bring out the straying sheep, whatever, you know, even, yeah, the straying sheep, yeah. And uh, when, when there was something, a sharp argument would have risen up, 
she intuitively gave a reason why Oscar should go out and get a cup of tea. That she was, he was to have his medication. And in such a case, it's care. You know, she brought everybody back to the stands. And, uh, but are you talking about several things, right? Uh, so that threat there is positive. That is the word I'm saying. And uh, it would have been part. What? It is part and parcel of part. Yeah, the formal, like, the forms. Okay. She's okay. using. Yeah. So, basically, what is Mike saying? What is his comment? Basically. What's the comment? No, Peter. What is Mike saying? Um, that Paola uh, was, was threatening and he liked to be threatened by. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Makes for insecurity, yes. yes, and there's a playing aspect yes. that makes for to feel safe, to feel the, okay. secure, mm. and she did both things, yes, yes, yes. 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 she threatened, she was threatened, yeah. yeah. mm. and then <laughs> she played with us, and we yes. 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 yes, so it's a good combination, yes, yes, yes. yes. all right, okay, but afraid, no. Only your friend knows. <laughs> <laughs> well, how does that come in? Only, that? sorry, both. Only your friend knows. Both. There should be a combination. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Ginny. I think, though, that um, when she played, then it negated her threateningness so that we didn't take it as threatening, but discipline. But what? Discipline. Yeah. 
So the one, yeah. they, they go together, yes. mm. the two attitudes. Yes. Okay, yeah, tell me. Well, I think she made it a matter of life and death to defend the structure. And because she defended the structure so passionately, we felt secure. And then when she played, um, she was um, allowing something within the structure so we could play within that structure. So long as the, so long as the structure was not a, a, being eroded, so she would always defend the structure. And there, thereby we had a security the whole way through. Oh, that's another way of uh, uh, getting security in the exercise, yeah. that you were so strict on the structure. Yeah, and when that's strict, then we can play within that in another, because we're not attacking the, we can play with the, uh, <coughs> the ideas, whatever. Do you have a comment? Would you like to have a comment on what you've heard and your attitude? I, I'm, I, I agree with uh, Jean. I like discipline. I, I'm, I, I think I, in my relationship with my students that has 21 years yet, uh, they don't feel like I'm, I'm threatening. Uh, no, but is it because what they just said that you okay, I, I think I, I am, when I say that I am like this, I like discipline for all in my life, even when I teach. <coughs> even when I teach. <laughs> even when you teach. <laughs> even when I teach. <laughs> also when I teach. Also, also. <laughs> all right. Any more? Comments on this or in general? No. Uh, unless anyone wants to say something more about the play threatening issue? Any other issues? Okay. Uh, still on this, yes. Uh, the issue is not feeling threatened or feeling secure and all this. For me, that's really psychologizing uh, things. Uh, there's something wrong. For me, the issue is growing up. That you feel insecure, that's your problem. Because you have to grow up, I mean you or anybody else. And that you feel insecure, you're gonna have to learn to be a big girl and live in a world where you feel threatened and so. Now of course, if you all you do is paralyze and paralyze people, I agree. But I hear so much of this, and we speak of students as they were poor, handicapped children that you have to do like this because at the slightest thing, for example, a child cries. Oh, now the child has cried. I say, so? I cry too. Well, what's the big deal of crying? You know, you cry maybe he has a good reason to cry. He has an experience that, uh, that is, is, is uh, you know, that's difficult or he discovers something. But today, we have this really strong psychologizing as people who are handicapped. And you grow up. And you have somebody here that, if, if, uh, where I don't agree with you, I think you are threatening. Even me, I'm not exactly a weak little thing, but I'm conscious of what I do, you know, I'm careful because he's going to throw some remark at me and all that, you know. I have my tears, oh my god. <laughs> I, I'm glad she said she pulled some funny argument on this. Oh my god. So, yes, of course. But so, you know, and I think it's important that we should not, it's like you, you go playing football, you say, and you think, the person which has a handicap, you cannot run and say, okay, let's play football the way because him, he, he can run. Well, no. I mean, we have to take this into account and see. But there's no reason why the uh, psychological case or the, the scared person, or the fragile, should be the criteria. I think there's something, today we see a lot, like the victim has reason. The, the weakest one is right by definition. He defines what takes place. So, of course, again, to know how to do this, but I think the issue is how to educate, how to grow up. And it's not because someone is fearful that you should, you know, you should say, okay, then I won't do anything, you know. And I think it's a mistake that I see very often, is education. In Plato's time, education was in, in the gymnasium. You learn struggle, yes? And of course, to be questioned is scary. That's why they killed Socrates. They killed him. And of course, it's scary. Uh, I, and when I, I, sometimes in the consultation, somebody does that to me with my experience, I get nervous. I say, oh my God, what are they asking me? Of course, normal. So I have to grow, get used to it, grow up, and that's what I think. But 
whether I think she plays it very well. Yes, because you see, it's uh, in French it's, we most we don't know if it's fish or meat, right? Because she plays so. But even though she plays, tell you she has effect. I don't know. I think she has effect on you, and uh, you know, so you, you, you watch what you're doing. You know. To this. The whole room. Yeah, but so you Mark, do you do you all fell into the trap of my being scared? A lot of you went along with it, and you should have said in the first instance, this is about feelings. I don't care about your feelings. This is about thinking. Mm -hmm. yeah. Who are you talking to now? Uh, to the whole room. Yeah, to is you it as about, well. Is it about Why didn't you say well? I don't care about your feelings, that you got scared. It's not about getting scared, it's about Why thinking. Why I didn't say that? <coughs> to Elizabeth? Or to me, or to uh, 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 Michael, who said uh, I felt threatened and I liked it. What do we care? Because it's not We agreed that it was What I mean is we were talking about feelings, and the feelings um, have no place here. We discovered Okay, Ivan, uh, yeah. Martin is not a philosopher, Ivan, he's just a moderator, so we give okay. an Oscar the yeah. answer to this. Yeah. All right. Second question. Well, okay. um, Anyone have more comments to uh, this issue of uh, threatening and play? Uh, this issue? Uh, I'm going to make a uh, connection. Can I make it? Between? Between uh, what we are saying, hmm. what we right. are saying. Right. I think uh, uh, Oscar said uh, that uh, her methodology uh, is connecting to her attitudes. So we are uh, explaining how they are connecting, how they are connect. So oh, you see now how yeah. these two things go together. Yes. yes. No. Uh, what 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 made you see it? How I see it? Yeah, what made you see it? Uh, how did you discover it? That they go together? The, the, uh, the, the methodology of power and the, the attitude. And the attitude? Yeah. Well, because uh, uh, we realized that her attitudes uh, also. Um, uh, also is in uh, her uh, methodology. Yeah, and why is that? What? <laughs> and, and how do you see that? Can you give us a criteria or something to... Be <laughs> because what she he does is connecting what with uh, how she... Uh, what we... Uh, uh, what he is... What she is... Sorry. <laughs> I didn't get it. Well, we are talking about the, the, the process, aren't we? Well, that's what we discussed a while ago. And uh, well, we had some. And we make a connection between the process and. Uh, that's what we did, yeah. And her attitude. Yeah. And Oscar said that uh, her process has to do with her attitude. So we are, we are saying that in her process of uh, in, uh, her work. We uh, we felt that her attitude as um, is it was present also. Yes, but in what way did uh, her attitude affect her structure? What's the link between the two? Is anyone else here? Hmm. Okay. Jen? <coughs> it's made a difference between a, a very firm rigid a firm structure and one which was movable and negotiable. Her attitude made that difference. Yeah, so it meant that the structure mm -hmm. was of a particular kind, you know, mm -hmm. rock solid. It could have been the structure could have been, um, you know, very close. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, I think it was supportive to the, the method because the method is really like strict. All those steps you have to do, and her attitude was also strict. So in that way there was correspondence between type of attitude and type of structure of methodology, the method, and therefore it support was supported to each other.
All right. Is that saying another thing than genesis? Are you saying the same as genesis? Or is this a new point? Uh, different. Different, right? Okay. Do you agree with Mark? Do you agree with Mark? I will come to the saying that formal and essential in the structure. Oh, you the same recall the distinction between the formal and yeah. essential. Okay. Yeah. Between the what and the how of the. Of the yeah. Okay. And do you agree, already, with Elizabeth, yeah. that they relate? They go together. With Paula, yeah. This, this, she, she's saying with uh, with Paula they are related. All right. And okay. make the, the problem. Yeah. Any other issues regarding her session? Let's go. Carol. I missed the point of uh, zero. Um, of what? Zero. Yeah. The what? first point. The first point. <laughs> that you ask us to name our own wish. And I um, think that when uh, it's there, then it gives uh, the consciousness for every next step. That's all. <laughs> what was it? Okay. Did you, did you get her point? What was the point? I think it was suggesting something. It it will be better yes. if this structure yes. will be since the, the 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 beginning of the exercise, isn't it? Then the above your um, your name is that we name our own wish because we, we lost the, the first oh, the you first Oh, forgot to write the, the first thing we did. No, I didn't, uh, I, didn't, I didn't forget. She would be better to her because she lost the, the first task. It's no, just no. No. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not. I can't answer it. Yes, just to put it's the, the, the first that says, it's selecting the most important it's wish. Totally what should become before that? Naming your own wish. Yes. Naming yes. your own it's wish. Not, it, to me, it's not important. Yes. Yeah, but it's but important to, me, to her. To me, yes. yes. And she's a participant, right? Oh, yes, but uh, I think it was a, 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 a language question. It, it, it is not a formal question. The language thing. Yeah, okay. I think so. Okay. Yeah. Now, you have another... All this discussion, I, I had an issue on the process, and now she said something, and now I want to question. She said the step zero, naming the wish, is not important. But what, what, what I have understood, and that I, I found it very good, it's a, the naming the wish, it is just and selecting, it's a tool or a mean to identify concept. So what could be the difference by starting directly, choose written here the concept, then making step O, step one. What could be the difference for your structure? I would, I would begin to something, it, 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 no concrete. I, I wanted you to, to begin to start at something uh, concrete. concrete. It, it, it can be a wish, it can be a, an experience, it can be an object. Okay, so, so, it, so, so uh, naming the co concrete. No. Concrete. The concrete. So naming the wish is a concrete? Yeah. Oh, so, oh. Okay. Yes, name a wish. Is it concrete? Yeah. So, is it important for your structure? Uh, yes. Wish. So, uh, something. What? Something. No, no. Naming a wish. Is it concrete? And is it? No, yes or no? Yes. yes. Okay. So, if it's concrete, is concrete is important for this process to start with? In this exercise, yes. So, is now naming a wish, is it an important step, the first step, is it still missing? Maybe. No, no, maybe. <laughs> yes. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> because, um, from my understanding, so now I'm coming to the issue, and leading to more, what Martin said and Janet. Mm -hmm. um, for me, it was a mean 
to help us to identify a concept. Then something becomes raised that this concept will link it to a particular case, which is a wish. Then we moved on to a general concept. So what could be interesting at the end is to make a confrontation of this general concept and this part of the concept to see if we are still thinking yeah. in yeah. it. Okay, but is that the essence of your <coughs> yes. suggestion? Yes. Our, it's not just a formulation. No. <coughs> yeah. Uh, I think Karen raised a very interesting issue. Uh, there's another dimension, and why I think yes, indeed, uh, not thought about this, but this uh, zero, whatever you call it, is important, because it deals with the fundamental attitude of uh, the student, which is to uh, get involved, get committed, and call it authenticity, to be authentic. In other words, if she would have made a series of wishes herself, she could have done, I want to be rich, you know, she could have done the list, then say select, but there, no, there's one more. They have to produce uh, their own wishes. They have to commit. So uh, I, I don't think, I wouldn't say that it's a big, uh, for, it's, there's no real competency to say, okay, I want to be rich. Or so. But there is an attitude thing to get engaged or to be authentic. Um, the, the horizon of the second part and how that would be useful mm -hmm. in trying to discuss the concept eventually. You or you should return. You would like to return to the original mm -hmm. case? At the end of the exercise? Uh, I just like to clarify the statement that was the original um, uh, instruction, which is to uh, make a statement about a wish but that would make a difference to the way you live your own life, or the difference to your own life. And if that then puts conditions on how the discussion would go in the concept. I think that was the no. No. Oh, sorry. Was that a comment to, uh, to, or, uh, to, to Caroline? Oh, if you want me to, okay, if, if I can just, I guess I can, I can object to Caroline's statement that the original statement was just to make a wish, but rather it was to make a wish um, that would make a difference to your mind. Right, right. Okay. Yes, that's good. Okay. Other comments to the exercise? Oh, yeah. Um, at a certain moment, there was a confusion between giving a, giving a counter example to express a transaction and giving an alternative definition. That was the, the Peter's case. Uh, Peter wanted to, you, want, you just wanted to give, an counter, give a counter example to the definition. Mm -hmm. Whose definition? I forgot. Uh, gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. But, uh, I still thought you took uh, Peter's statement as an, as a, an alternative definition for freedom at that moment. So I thought that was a confusion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't understand. What you are saying? Are someone understanding what he says? Uh, make it to you post it in different words. Yes, he thinks that there was a confusion um, at the moment that Peter was giving the example of a free or something. Um, but that was, it, you took it for another definition, whereas it was just a country or something. That was a confusion. And he wanted me to use it as an, a, a contra example, isn't it? Yeah. 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 This is a comment. This is a comment. Agree with this? Or don't mind? No, he, he, he said, I, I didn't do it. And I could do it. Yeah. A confusion but between uh, an, an example and the contra-example. 
Katia was objection. Contra example of obse objection. Yeah. 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 Is it a big issue? This? No. no. I can precise. Yes, I, I think there is an issue. I, I do think that there is a mistake. It's no big deal because when you run a discussion, you sound like you, you, you know, there's so many things you forgot. Yes, indeed. It was you described his as his proposal when he was just giving an objection. Now, I tell you why this is of somewhat importance because a hypothesis doesn't a new hypothesis does not have to respond to a former hypothesis to say, okay, I have another idea. There is no obligation of connection. But if you have an objection, yes, there's an obligation of connection. And often I've noticed people confused, not agreeing, you know, uh, being having an objection and having another idea. So that's one thing I always try to be very careful of this, which is not always obvious. Is it an objection? So connection, contradiction, or no, I just have another hypothesis. That's why we don't go into detail. Things need something worth uh, being careful about here. Yes. Okay. Another Richard Peter? Yes, another, uh, another comment or question? Uh, yeah, but not related to the structure. No. So, uh, what's, it, what's it about? <coughs> uh, well, that, um, you were very strict, but there was also a lot of laughing going around. And, um, the laughing was a nice indicator of, uh, or was a nice mirror for people in this case, because you, um, there were some moments, uh, for example, Oggy was uh, giving a comment and then saying, well, a good definition is, and then he was reading his, he wanted to read his own, his own uh, definition, and everybody started laughing, so everybody understood, but, um, or other, the, the group offered a nice mirror, or, Reflection to Oki by just laughing. Yeah, but that was that was Oki's uh, joke. <laughs> but I don't, I don't, okay. It was a joke. It was a joke. Okay, then I. Uh, no, 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 I thought it was a joke. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Given this is an example, you give an example, right? Yeah. What happened and when we laughed. Yeah. But this laughing, do you relate this to to Paula's direction or Paula's attitudes in any way, or is it just accidental? For this exercise, um, has it got anything to do with Paula? But the way Paula was acting, yeah. that this laughter came about. I think it has to do because he uh, is very strict, uh, and when very strict people try to uh, find uh, their way out of this, uh, out of her structure, and I think that offers uh, the funny moments. Uh, strictness makes for it. Yes. After. Yeah. Because you have to be smart. Yeah. Smart. Okay. okay. I was meant to be smart. <laughs> 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 I know you will be smart to fight. <laughs> what's, the, what's the time limit here? It's uh, another ten minutes if you want. Let you know. okay. me just, it, because now we're going to address with you in depth and you see this couple of these issues. But sorry, you see this couple of issues left. Right? And also, evaluation of the evaluation. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. Well, 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 two minutes. <laughs> no, no, no. We we'll use ten minutes to do that. <laughs> uh, anyone have issues uh, that not correlate to what has already been said? Something no. entirely new? You have that, Jenna? Yeah? Um, <clears throat> just on the page where she's collecting the definitions, she sometimes deleted a definition. <coughs> All the definitions there are some object objections to. Um, I'm just wondering whether she, <coughs> whether you need to have deleted and did you turn back the page, maybe? Whether you needed to have cross out any of those definitions or whether structurally it's better to leave them at all. Yeah, Here? No, 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 the next page. No, that's it. No, that's are you no, 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 that's fine. That's fine. No. The next page. Okay. There are no more. <laughs> Yes, yes. yes, open. Yep, that's it. So she crossed out no borders. Um, no. That's because yeah. the, 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 the owner of oh, the okay. he, he, he recognized that it was not a, a good definition. So, 
So in all cases there were rejections. Um, were your intention to leave all the definitions there for us or when there was uh, I don't know. Okay. I'm lost. Okay. In the other in the other definitions? So you had you had those definitions on the board? <coughs> Rejected by the group. No, I thought rejected. No, we we and had no process. To, we, we we had no process. Oh, no so way of yeah. rejected. Okay. We problematized it. Right, that's good. I just didn't wasn't. I thought there was a the cross rejection. the cross uh, on the borders. It 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 has a reason because the secret uh, so, right. after the objection. He, he said, okay, uh, so structurally, what we should do is... You what, was, what, what is... Uh, do, is there a problem with the crossing? Not even more than that. So yeah. what I want to know now is structurally, what, would she, what does she do with this collection of definitions? Okay. What would you like to do with the collection What I would, would like to do? Yeah. What with, did. With, with a collection of definitions, right? Yeah, because there may be another step. I'm just wondering what step. They, once you've got a collection of definitions like this, we may be uh, construct, build a definition. Yeah, so there's another step, maybe. Yes, it could, it could be. It could be. So these are they're all, they're all regarded as insufficient in some way. But you didn't reject them because they were insufficient, but they were there for us to use. Because uh, I think the objections we heard was not enough to refuse to reject. And yeah. what so, yeah. this was not <coughs> the objective. The objective yeah. Yeah. was conceptualize, problematize the argument. And so? So if we were left with this collection of definitions, we could try and apply them to the particular case Jean mentioned at the beginning. What is most what is the most important kind of freedom that we want of these what may be possible with these definitions? All right, so suggest. Yeah, yeah so yeah. just really nice to connect it back for a moment. Okay. I think so. Now we now I'm running out of time. Yeah, so there's just one last thing. Okay, do you have one last thing too? Yes. <laughs> because it's indeed related to that. Um, strengthen the point. Uh, we did a great exercise with a lot of elements within it, but I didn't get stuck at any thinking. I just had uh, some exercise that. I'm, I'm not thinking about anything uh, while I leave. And when you go back to the beginning, perhaps you can make, uh, we can find some contradictions where I, I can start uh, keep uh, on going. Thank you. All right. Yes, uh, I think it's uh, an interesting philosophical uh, standpoint, the <coughs> conclusions. So Janet uh, sub raising it. But you see, that kind of thing, freedom, this transcendent concept, played because unhypothetical, because it says that's a concept you need, but uh, any hypothesis you will have, you will reject you know, the definition, because it always, always be reductionist, always. And uh, always, like uh, the simple example you take, uh, Spinoza telling that uh, basic consciousness is the essence of freedom, but for Descartes, it's determining, determining if you're, you say yes or no. So each one of you take those two, always you take one, the other says no, so you reject. So I think at that point, what's interesting to have doing for teaching philosophy is to say, okay, in this different conception of freedom, what are the postulates? What is uh, in each time, what is crucial? So the way you can conclude that is not by finding I can define one concept of freedom that fits everybody, it's rather impossible, or even the majority, as we saw, but to say, okay, let we can now say how each of these definition of freedom, what is the postulate behind it, what is the crucial thing. And that's for me a key way to problematize and to rediscover what the important issues of freedom is in, in philosophy. And that, that's a way to very important to problematize. Identify different postulates. Postulates. Mm -hmm. A good way to conclude this. 
and then we have left room for people to say, okay, who starts with different postulates? When, if you look, all these, they're all with the same postulates. Do what you want without infringement, uh, without constraint, with no chains. All these are the same. We said, look, do, it, do you have something which is another type of postulates? So we did not. You see it, All right. Then uh, you want to have a last assessment of us in uh, comment? Okay. Then one minute. <laughs> <laughs> Assessment of the assessment. So you have to do that. No, he can do this. You have to do it to him. Mm -hmm. he, he cannot. He cannot be. You have five minutes. Because <laughs> <laughs> so I'm more generous. <laughs> we have we have uh, we have five minutes to do the assessment of the assessment. Who wants to talk? Mike. Uh, truly, having stayed with uh, Ivan for a week now, I discovered something Ooh. about him. <laughs> the, yes, I discovered. I not the assessors, the assessments. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Assess, assessing the assessor of the assessment. <laughs> and so, um, he is a quiet achiever. Oh. Yeah. Quiet, quiet, quiet achiever. You are quiet, you are calm, but you achieve a lot. Beautiful. So, uh, yes, uh, is, uh, he is result oriented. He is not after what goes on, he is after finding results. And uh, that thing is good. He helped to bring out from every aspect of this thing, of this. Uh, workshop already, he has been able to extract all the parts and then bring out what is good in them, leaving the chaff by the wayside and uh, making us to understand more the content of what you had presented. In fact, I would have been asking myself what was your presentation all about? But most times, whatever you say, I close my eyes in meditation and I discover that it was real. It is now that after this uh, meta exercise that I've come to understand exactly why you did what you did and what you did was good. <coughs> Thank you. to um, start from the actual structure of the workshop, which was something I didn't do yesterday. Yeah. So that's the obvious something now that I didn't do yesterday and what I could do. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. As, as a big position. Alan? It was an efficient and productive assessment. Yeah. So uh, I have a question for you then, see? When I asked, I went to refuse. Yes. And uh, I had to repeat three times who he is. So I want to ask you, moral dilemma. Do you think I should have accepted his refusal with his hands? The young married couple, okay? <laughs> I don't ask me that. Alright, so we can have lunch. And by the way, we have a little surprise organized. I think it can be interesting. It was very selfish, but I think it interesting too. Uh, we're going to have a special day where I'm going to do a consultation with, uh, what's your name now? With yeah. now, Tara's wife, oh. uh, with translation. I want to show you because I have some time to do this. It's a very interesting exercise to do consultation with translation. Plus, uh, somebody from a culture which probably like me, you're not familiar with. So we'll start with that. And I thought it would be uh, an exciting thing to do. <laughs> uh, question. Yeah. When you do that translation, when you do that uh, conversation, I tell you what, I'll do it. Then we talk afterwards. Let me ask you: Are you sure? Are you sure the translation there won't be connivance, cheating? 
No, from that side, the translator is a shitter by the way. <laughs> 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 Thank <laughs> you.